Hey guys, what's going on? Really good pie here, and welcome to another tutorial. In this episode, we'll be creating a user registration and login page using Dreamweaver CC. So here's the end result here. So we have a page that we're not allowed to go to, and to actually access that, we have to log in. Now to log in, you need an account. So go ahead to register. Let's create an account. Um, so let's do hello one two three password um, let's just do secret no, it's a secret it's not the actual password and email let's we'll do dot com now as you can see there are a few flaws with this um, obviously you can just get a bot to run through this and enter a thousand accounts probably crashing the server the email um, there's no actual verification for the email except that it has at and dot com at the end or something at the end and yeah and yes yeah, so it's not really suitable for commercial use but I'm sure you can add whatever features you want to add so just go ahead and click register now we can go ahead and log in so hello123 and let's do our password and there we go we success successfully logged in now we can log out um, here and let's try go to the index page where we're not allowed to go to and you can see that it redirects us to the access denied page. Now this is all done in Dreamweaver CC, so let's go ahead and open that up. Okay, so now that we're in Dreamweaver CC, we're going to go ahead and create a new site. So to do this, we're going to go to new site, and we're going to name this site registration tutorial. Now we're going to browse to a folder within our hdocs or www folder. So I've created a folder called registration tutorial. Go ahead and select that. As you can see, it's empty. And we're going to go to the servers tab here, and we're going to add a new server. So if you're using a local uh, server, go ahead and select local slash network. Select your server folder again. Uh, it should be the same folder, and just do the local host slash registration tutorial. It's the folder name. Uh, press save, go ahead and select testing, deselect remote and press save and there we go. So the folder is empty now so what we're going to do is create four new folders. So uh, we're going to go ahead and create four PHP folders. So one, uh, new again, another one, PHP, oops, alright. So the first one I'm going to create is called index.php. So go ahead and save that as index.php. And we're going to give this a title of successful. So this is going to be our page that is displayed when we successfully log in. As you can see right, oops, one second. Uh, uh, as you can see right here. So log in. Hello one two three and password whoops shouldn't share that this is going to be our success page as you can see it's index.php and what we're going to do is just add a little bit of styling within the body so let's add a h1 tag to the span of color uh, style zone and we'll set the color equal to green so you can just use the cc thing done and that is all uh, successful you let's do something stupid like you made it and we'll just close off the tags and let's save that so there we go uh, we're going to create another text here that's not going to have anything we're just going to call it logout or we'll do a break and logout this is going to be a our login tag our logout uh, text right here and that is all for the uh, you made it page, successfully login page. Uh, um, now we're going to go to the untitled 2. And this is going to be our login page. So let's go ahead and give that a title of login. And we're going to go to insert uh, form and insert form. Now we're going to give this a name of login form. And just break that. So it's a, bit, a little bit neater and I'm going to insert a couple of fields so go to form again text uh, this is going to be the username so 
give it a name of Ethernet and that should be good enough. Uh, let's go ahead and save that as login.php. Alright, so we got that there. Now we're gonna add a label, so we select the field and uh, I don't believe there is anything in the Dream of a map thing. So we're gonna go ahead and in manually insert a label, so username. There we go. And we obviously do a password, so and we'll create another insert another form. Uh, we'll call, give it a password value. So there we go, and we'll give it a name of password. Very basic. And obviously, we're going to create a submit button now. So insert form and submit button. Give it a value of login. And there we go. Oops, we're going to do some breaks now. Alright, there we go. We'll just give that a little bit of. We'll just give that a small title. Uh, so h1 login. There we go. So our third document is going to be called register, so let's go ahead and save that as register.php and we're going to go ahead and give it a title of registration. Uh, in a body we're going to give another form, so form, I'll give it a name of registration. Go ahead and close that form tag. We'll do a, a few labels. so. We're going to give it a username label. Uh, break it, and we'll give it another label of password, and another label of our email address. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to go ahead and create the um, actual input. So, as you see, we have basic labels there. And then add that. So let's go ahead and create an input of text. Type is equivalent to text. Name is equivalent to username. And close that, do a break. And we'll create a input for um, the password. So type is equivalent to password. Name is equal to password and close that and break that. Um, the email, pretty simple again, inputs type is equal to email, uh, name is equal to email and let's break that. Now we're just going to insert a submit button so input type is equal to submit, value is equal to register. Now you can do this through the um, actual GUI of Dreamweaver, I just prefer to do it manually simply because I find it easier and yeah so that's what our form should look like there. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and create a h1 tag again and call it register. There we go. Now we're going to add some simple validation to this. So for the login we're going to set the required to true and we're going to set the auto focus to true there. Uh, for the password, we're going to also set the um, oops, required to true. So go ahead and save that. Uh, for our register, we're going to set everything to required once again as well. So required, password required, and email required. Because we don't want to be inserting null values into our actual um, database. So there we go. Now the last page is exactly the same as this thing here, as the success page, it's going to be the access denied page. So let's go ahead and copy and paste the text from index to, uh, to this and go ahead and save it as access denied.php. Uh, we'll go ahead and change the logout to login and change the text to access 
denied, and we'll go ahead and give it a color of red. So obviously we have the RG, G, RGB. So um, red is. Forgive me if I'm doing this wrong. Oops. Okay, that's horrible. There we go. All right. Um, so that is all we need to do for that. So that's our basic layouts for our web pages created. Now we're just going to go ahead and add a register form in the register link in the login page. So go ahead and highlight that, and we'll refresh that, and we'll add a a tag around it. So H, my bad. <laughs> you guys just followed me. Um, browse, and we'll set it to register. What the hell am I doing? Pressing the wrong keys there. Uh, still. Okay, <laughs> my bad. Uh, go ahead and close that tag. Save it. Go ahead and head to register. And we'll type something like already have an account. Login. So go ahead and surround the login text with a tags. So. Wait for that to load for some reason. <laughs> right. There we go. Alright, there we go. Uh, also, the access denied page, we're going to link that to our login page as well. So, a href is equal to browse login. Uh, oops. And just close that tag there. There we go. So we can't do the logout yet because we haven't actually set any um, database access for the actual logout or the users. So that's what we're going to do now. So go ahead and head to your PHP My Admin. So localhost slash PHP My Admin. Uh, now we're going to go to SQL and we're just going to type create a simple database. So create database uh, user registration. Uh, we're going to use this database. So so all the source code will be on my website. So if you guys are having trouble with this, uh, you can just go to reallygoodpy.com. Link will be in the description down below and download all the source code. Uh, so now we're going to create a table. So let's go ahead and create table users. Uh, we have to do the brackets followed by a semicolon. And let's go ahead and create our users table. So first one is going to be user ID. That's pretty basic. Uh, it's going to be an int not null and auto increment right, there we go do a uh, comma and now we're going to do the username varchar we're going to set this to something like 16 uh, we'll give it a value of not null now we're going to do the password you're going to want to make this a bit larger if you're going to be using encryption so let's go ahead and give this a 255 and set this to not null. The last one is set email, so emails can be rather large, so we'll give it a 60 um, uh, length. So there we go. Now, the good thing about Varchar is that it doesn't use database space, um, like, say, if you just set it to default, like, um, text or something, can you give it a Define length, it won't actually use that space that it, it only use the space that it actually needs or that it's actually using. So blank characters don't count as space, if that makes sense to you guys. Um, and the last thing we're going to want to do is create a primary key. So primary key, and we'll set this to user ID. And there we go, we're going to press go, and we should get a success message. and 
Now we're going to go ahead and head on over to Dreamweaver. We're going to go to Server Behaviors panel. Uh, we're going to create a record set. And we're going to name this um, User Request. Now the connection is none, so we're going to define a connection. Uh, we'll call this, uh, let's call it User Information. MySQL Server, localhost, username, root, I don't have a password, and let's select the database that we need. So we called it user registration. Press OK. Let's show me this again. Uh, done, and there we go. Go ahead and select the table that we just created. Yeah, why not just finish loading and responding? users and we don't want to add any filter or sort methods so we'll just test that it should display a blank value blank thing and there we go so as you can see it's automatically inputted all this code for you quite convenient um, and yeah so we need to do that for we didn't really need to do that for access denied uh, so just go ahead and press X and we'll paste this into register you can do that on just a register page as well, just like you did before. Go ahead and don't forget the bottom part of PHP. Alright, there we go. So what we're going to do here is go to behaviors, t uh, set bindings tab, sorry. Oh, server behaviors. We're going to go to user uh, insert record. Let's wait for that to load. So you're going to submit values from registration, that's the table name, connection, user information, insert table users, and it, so we want the username to get the um, information from form.username, that's the name that we gave it, password, email, and it should already be set. So um, after inserting, we want to go to the login page so they can log in, uh, press OK, and there we go. So go ahead and save that, that's our register page set up. Now we're going to go ahead and create a login user authentication. So that's in server behaviors, uh, user authentication and there. So now we're going to validate using user information, uh, username column, username, password column, password. If login succeeds, go to, we want to go to the uh, index and if login fails go to access denied now press ok uh, so that's that set up there and save that now the index php we want to create a another user authentication thing so we want to go to restrict access to page so if access denied we want to go to access denied obviously press ok and we're going to just highlight the logout text and go to server behaviors, uh, user authentication, and logout user. When done, we want to go to login.php. Go ahead and save that, save everything, and let's test it out. Let's go to, let's go to our root of our server. Now we're going to go to registration. Um, let's just try that again. Let's log out. <laughs> Uh, I believe it was registration tutorial, I believe. Alright, so we get this access denied. As you can see, we'll log in. But we don't have an account. If we try to enter some random information, we get access denied. So we've got to register an account. So let's call ourselves GoodPyre. Password, that's a secret. And email. Dot com. Alright, there we go. Let's go. Let's log in now. And there we go, we've made it. Um, so as I said before, all the source code should be on my website as soon as possible. And don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more content. And leave a comment in the comment section down below if you have any troubles or queries regarding this tutorial. And I'll see you guys later.